Time for another award-winning mailbag here on the Ravens Rundown. Tyler Jones here with you. Happy to have you with us. Hope you're having a great holiday season, and hopefully we get a Ravens win to make things even better for your Christmas this weekend. And I got to make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Here we are. It is almost Christmas, and we're sitting here answering you guys' questions. Why? Because you guys are the absolute best. You need to subscribe to the channel for our rumors and news segments, for mailbags, uh, for everything in between. Uh, game recaps, game previews, it's all in one place right here on the Ravens Rundown, youtube.com slash Ravens TV. With the Ravens taking on the Falcons, we are battling Falcons today in subs, and we are getting very close to taking down Falcons today. So let's put a dent in that and prove that we are the superior bird of the East Coast and subscribe to the channel now, youtube.com slash Ravens TV. Let's get started with the mailbag. First question comes from Kim. Hi, Kim. Should the Ravens sign OBJ for the playoffs? Well, it sounds like from what we've heard, it went back to that visit with the Cowboys about two or three weeks ago that OBJ just isn't healthy where he needs to be and remember the Ravens were not OBJ's first choice second or third and so what that leads me to believe if this many teams have basically said no nah, we're not interested the fact that the deal was not done at this point that kind of tells me all I need to know about OG, OBJ's health status at this point I think OBJ is a terrific football player uh no question about that but with what we know of nobody biting on, taking on a chance at OBJ at this point, when they looked at the medicals, I just don't think that they came back good enough to want to pay OBJ that type of money. And you look at what the Ravens did this past week, bringing in Sammy Watkins, bringing in Deshaun Jackson a few weeks prior. There was nothing from inside the organization that, you know what, OBJ is what we need right now. And the Ravens have had – their shortage of receivers this year, I, I just don't see it happening. I think it's – and, again, I'm, I'm not OBJ's doctor, but based on just what we've heard, it doesn't sound like it's very good for OBJ's health right now. So, um, unless they get something back differently, unless their doctors say something that we haven't heard, I don't see OBJ signing with the Ravens or anybody for that matter this season. Should the Ravens sign OBJ? You know how we do things around here. Type OBJ – for yes. Type no BJ for no. Simple as that. Let me know in the comments section. You might get an ad break. If so, take advantage of it. Get your votes in. OBJ for yes. No BJ for no. Next question in the mailbag comes from Jeremy. What do you make of the Ravens quarterback situation right now? Well, we told you earlier in the week a report from ESPN's Adam Schefter that they believed within the Ravens organization that Lamar Jackson was going to be on track to start this weekend against Atlanta. Now, here we are, what is it, you know, less than 24 hours before that game begins, and it doesn't seem like things are headed that direction like they were before. And Tyler Huntley, of course, coming off an injury in his own right. And Anthony Brown doesn't have a whole lot of experience. I got to say, it's just not good. I mean, to put it mildly, we have seen the Ravens have all sorts of bad luck the last two years out of every position, and the quarterback spot is no exception. And so I'm worried. I'm concerned because, yes, your playoff chances still are pretty dang high. You know, I think 538 gave them like a 98% chance to make the postseason. But you would make your things a lot easier on yourselves if you went out and won the division here. And if they don't have Lamar, it see, sounds kind of tough, the idea of the Ravens winning the AFC North at this point, by the way, uh, the Bengals are playing. So I don't feel good about the quarterback situation right now. Today's show is brought to you by Fetch. Fetch is a super easy to use free app that lets you earn rewards on literally anything you buy. Scan any physical receipt or e-receipt and you will earn Points for purchases, and the process only takes seconds. You don't have to worry about where the receipt is from or what the hell's on it. So let me show you how simple it is. All you have to do is open up the Fetch app, press the orange camera button, snap a photo of your receipt, then hit submit, and you'll see that confetti pop up showing that you've earned more rewards points. It's a simple process. 
You can also click the e-receipt function to get rewarded for your Amazon purchases or other online shopping by syncing your email account. You can then redeem those points for gift cards at Starbucks, Amazon, or hundreds of retailers and restaurants available. Fetch is only available for a limited time on iPhone and Android. Use our link, chatsports.com slash fetch. Enter the promo code chat at sign up for 5,000 points. That's the equivalent of a free $5 gift card. It's a free app, and you can get yours now. Chatsports.com slash fetch. Enter promo code chat. A link is also in the comments and the description of today's video. All right, uh, next question coming in the mailbag from Billy. How much of a difference will it make adding Sammy Watkins? Well, I'll put it this way. It can't hurt. I mean, in actuality, that's what I look at. Sammy Watkins, I don't know how much he has left in the tank at this point. He was awesome for the Chiefs in their Super Bowl run and what he has been able to do in the postseason. He has been uh, a whole different player in the postseason, comparably speaking, when we've seen him in the regular season. So he's got the talent. He's got the capabilities there. You just can't trust him to stay healthy. So, I mean, I think anything helps this Ravens team at this point with how depleted they are at the receiver spot. So it will make a difference to some extent. But knowing Sammy's track record, I mean, it feels like, okay, when's he going to get hurt? I mean, I, I hate to make it sound that way, but that's what it seems like as Sammy Watkins throughout his career. So uh, there's your answer. Talent level, yes. I don't know if I can trust him to stay on the field. Grade the Sammy Watkins signing, A, B, C, D, or F. Let me know in the comments section. How would you grade the signing of Sammy Watkins bringing him in to Baltimore, his second go-round with the Ravens? He knows the system that's in place, so he gets to kind of jump right in. How would you grade the signing? Let me know in the comments section below. Oh, we got a Karen in the comments today. Oh, boy. Uh, Karen wants to know, will the Ravens be able to re-sign Lamar and Roquan this offseason? Very interesting. So I I was actually talking to uh, my buddy Steve Weich of the NFL Network about this the other day. And uh, Steve was saying that, you know, when you look at the numbers, they don't really add up. I mean, as much as the Ravens would like to keep Lamar Jackson and Roquan Smith, they are going to have to do some finagling of some sorts, Karen. It is not going to be easy to keep both guys. Now, here's what I would say. At the absolute, you know, worst case scenario, if you're the Ravens, you cannot let either guy walk. Obviously, priority number one is to re-sign Lamar, or if he doesn't agree to a new deal of some sorts, then you franchise tag him. You can't let Lamar go no matter what. And then two, Roquan Smith, obviously, you'd like to have a new deal in place for him as well. So, you know, I don't know what the chances are yet, but... It is going to take some miraculous efforts from Eric DaCosta to pull off both at this point because the markets for both those players are going to be extremely high. I think Roquan was already going to be expensive as is, and then the way that he's played with Baltimore, that price tag has skyrocketed even more so. So we'll see. Hopefully they can, but don't count on it. I'll put it that way. Gary says, can the Ravens win the division still? I mean, they can. Sure. Absolutely, Gary. They can win the division, but they will probably need some help from the Bengals. Now, luckily, you look down the stretch, and the Ravens have an easier finish to the season than the Bengals do. Um, the I like, you know, when, when I look at this situation for the, the Ravens, it's don't beat themselves, right? I mean... You look at this Bengals team, they get the Patriots, the Bills, and then, of course, the Ravens to finish out the season. The Ravens could, or the Bengals, rather, could lose all three of those games. They very well could. Meanwhile, this Ravens team, what they have to deal with to finish out the year, you get the Falcons this week, you get the Steelers next week, winnable game but a rivalry game, and then you get the Bengals again. I mean, yeah, the Ravens can win the division, but they might need some help from the Bengals as far as I'm concerned. So we'll see. But should be interesting to see how it all plays out. Prediction time. Will the Ravens win the AFC North? Let me know in the comments section. Why for yes, in for no. And uh, let me know what you think if you believe the Ravens will win the division or not. As always, follow me on social media at Tyler Jones Live on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, 
and have a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.